<laughs> hey beautiful people, welcome to C2L. I'm Tommy Day. This is Kalpa, Kamili, and Tamara. And today they're gonna be having Nigerian foods for the first time. Nigeria is just different and so is the food. Its vast array of flavors and cuisines reflect the cultural richness, diversity and essence of what it means to be a Nigerian. Living far from home, we often miss out on the authentic ingredients needed for traditional dishes and this makes it hard to enjoy them frequently. But that's about to change. Today we're headed to Mombasa, a vibrant coastal city in Kenya to explore a new Nigerian restaurant that promises to be a home away from home. We're teaming up with the amazing Kamili, AKA Chakula, a Mombasa-based food creator whose approval is the closest thing to a Michelin style on the ground for street vendors and restaurants alike. We're also joined by Kamili's friend, Tamara, and together we'll all be trying out a wide array of dishes with an aim of traveling as close as we can to Nigeria without the need of an airplane. So, we have a lot of things here. We have the pepper soup, I believe. This should be like the fried meat over here. This is egusi. This is jollof rice. This is um, this is beans, right? This is beans. Fantastic. This is stew. We have some pomo over here. I think there's shaki. It's just a mixture of stuff. This is rice and beans, and this should be some stew as well. So the goal is for you guys to try that out, right? So, maybe we can start with... What, what should we start with? Jollof rice. Yeah, okay. yes, then followed by Perfect. This Egusi this and, and that. And then okay. when we take pepper soup yes. at the end? Yeah, or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Is there normally like an order when you eat? Like you have to eat this, then this, and or you can eat anything. You can eat anything. anything you want. But we'll start jollof rice. Everything is okay. It's going down. <laughs> <laughs> sure it is. And she was right. It was definitely about to go down. So we decided to establish some ground rules. We'll be trying out everything presented and then afterwards, list down our top dishes. First up is jollof rice with some pancakes on the side. I'm curious to see if I can handle the chili. This is taking me back to high school. This is the plantain sugar. Party the plantain. Mm. It has like party. a very smoky flavor, yeah. So in oh. the for parties, it's usually like the most sought after jollof rice because they make it in like these big cuts and it's steamed. It's like it cooks to the point where it, like it burns up and the smoke enters everything. Mm. It's very interesting. As expected, jollof rice and plantain can do no wrong. It's soon time to go on to the next meal. Yeah. Alright, so are we done with jollof rice? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Next up, we'll be having rice and beans. This will be paired with a classic staple, beef stew. And Kamili soon asks a question only a Nigerian will be capable of answering. What's the base of Nigerian food? Base of Nigerian food, I'll like. Try. Yes, wifey, take it away, take it away. Tomatoes. Okay. Okay. Bell pepper. Okay. Um, uh, habaneros. And sometimes onions. But then now I need to ask you what oil do you say? What oil? Palm oil. Palm oil, yes, that's what it was. Wow. Maybe. That's a well worth right there. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, yeah, for a reason. She's definitely a Nigerian. Camille and Tamara soon try the pomo inside the stew. <laughs> I was expecting to find something really chewy. Yeah. It's yeah. nice. It's. I feel like it's an acquired taste though. It is. Yeah. It's like you're eating flavored rubber. Yeah. 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 That was so <laughs> accurate. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, that was so accurate. Next up, we have beans. This takes me back. In boarding school, we used to have this thing on Wednesday. I <laughs> love that he even knows it's on Wednesday. Wednesday. <laughs> Wednesday was a beans stew, guys. Ah. Mm. 
I'm so proud. <laughs> I tried explaining to Camille and Tamara how I would usually take this with Gary and realized it's almost impossible explaining what drinking Gary is to somebody who's never seen it. Funny thing, that Gary, snail. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah, so personally, this is where I draw the line. My people don't come for me. But since Camille and Tamara are down, this should be interesting. Until then, let's get back to explaining the wonder that Gary is. We will try it. We will try it. Don't worry about it. There's something that people do where you sprinkle the cassava, the Gary itself, on top of your beans, mm. and you eat it like that. It's 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 its own thing. Like you can't. There's nothing I can tell you is like Gary. Mm. Even you, even this how it's hard to visualize. Yeah. yeah. Clearly, because I probably just confused her even more. As this was all happening, my Nigerian Indian wife showed just how Nigerian she has become. Do you think they have moi moi? Moi moi, wow. Wow. Proper. Proper. <laughs> What's moi moi? Yeah. It's like a bean moi moi, yeah, it's a bean cake. Oh. Yeah, what, what, um, desserts. what, exactly, what Nigerian desserts do you guys have? So we are not like, in. Exactly let me first of all say, in, we don't really oh. have like desserts like that. So I feel like Indian that cuisine. Would be a dessert? No. Yeah. No, it's, it's just, it's not sweet. It's not sweet. <laughs> it's a savory thing. It's a savory cake. What? Yeah. <laughs> I think you so do As I do my best to help Camille understand what moi moi is and how it's made, the snails are finally brought to the table. Nails. <laughs> we'll try it. You know, I think you must try everything at least once. Exactly. At least yeah. once in your life. It's very chewy. <laughs> Mushroom. Wait, it's oh. chili. Oh no. <laughs> Just when you're trying to get used to it, it hits you. I think the sauce is nice, like it's hot, <laughs> but I don't know. It's hot. It's hot, hot. Hey, respect you huh? The chili <laughs> jelly you will No, try. no, no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm Thank mother. you. I'm so I'm child. I need to go back home. <laughs> As Camille and Tamara recover from quite the experience, it was time to try some fried turkey. And to our amazement, this restaurant imports them all the way from Nigeria. Mm. <laughs> mm. This is good. This is good. This is nice. Next up, it was time to try the turkey pepper soup, which comes with some boiled plantains. Pepper soup. You've not started ratings. I think this is the best thing that I've had. But from like a pepper soup point of view, mm. knowing what pepper soup is, this is really well done. The plantain and the turkey, this is a good dish. I'm content. This one. Mm. Last but not least, it's time to try one of the greatest dishes ever created. Egusi. You know me. I've been here before. <laughs> That's why Egusi is the, mm -hmm. the queen of them all. It really is. Somehow, you know, these um, pumpkin seeds or so, they kind of remind me of egg. Yeah, like, like the texture, egg. like scramble. Mm -hmm. So good. Mm -hmm. And sugar. Mm -hmm. mm. This is good. I'm enjoying mm -hmm. it. It just has such a nice spice profile. Like, it's not spicy chili, but there's just like so much flavor. Really, yeah. It's nice. And after a couple of hours of experiencing Nigerian mm -hmm. food, it's finally time to give our ratings. All right, for me, I'm biased. Number one always has to be Egusi. Even though I had that last. Number two will be the pepper soup. The turkey pepper soup with boiled plantain. And number three, 
Strong contender, jollof rice. Totally approved. Jollof rice, the smoky flavor was just so, so good. And then turkey. Actually, I've, I feel like I've really not had turkey before, but this one was my first attempt at it. was so good, so yeah. crispy. And then egg you see. This is my second time eating egg you see, and now it's finally kicking in. You wow. Know? Like the first time was great, but you know, you're just trying to understand all the flavors. But today I was like diving into it. So it was so, so good. Awesome. Wow. Kamiri? Um, I think same. I think for me, I really enjoyed the egusi. It was such a nice, again, it's such a nice nutty flavor. But I like that it has like a bit of spinach as well. And the pepe soup as well was really nice and like warm. I really enjoyed that. Awesome. Uh, for me, the plantain. I oh. really love the plantain like so much. In both the fried plantain and um, I really like the jollof second. Last time I had it, and today it just sealed it in. I'm obsessed. Yeah. <laughs> and actually, this one, I'm not sure what it's called, but the What's sauce is so the good. Matumbo. Yeah. The chili, I really like that. The intestines. Yeah. Awesome. Is this chakula proof? <laughs> it's approved. <laughs> <laughs> awesome.